Hi there. Today's bonus movie review is uh, a firm favourite of mine <clears throat> ever since uh, I first saw it on its release in 1970 and it's Kelly's Heroes. It was directed by Brian G. Hutton who had previously directed Where Eagles Dare, another great war movie. And the uh, screenplay was by Troy Kennedy Martin who uh, he wrote quite a bit for British TV but uh, he's probably best known for the Italian job. So the movie opens um, <clears throat> with a, a raid behind German lines in the pouring rain. Uh, flashes of lightning sort of illuminate. You, you see that it's an American Jeep with American soldiers in uh, and they've lifted a German um, officer for uh, interrogation purposes and they bring him back and uh, Private Kelly, who is uh, Clint Eastwood, um, starts to interrogate him by um, getting him drunk. Uh, the backstory to Clint Eastwood was he was a f formerly an officer, but uh, an attack went wrong and he got the blame for it. It wasn't his fault. And he's busted to private. And he's now in the infantry unit that's spearheading the breakout from Normandy. So the German officer has a briefcase with some bars of metal in it, but one of them has been scraped and it's revealed as being gold and um, documents and maps and so on. And under the influence of drink, he reveals that there's a, a German bank or a bank near Clermont where the Germans are guarding um, 14 million marks worth of gold. Um, so Kelly decides that it, it would be the perfect crime and um, he recruits uh, Crap Game who's a supply sergeant played by Don Rickles who uh, at the time was a very noted comedian and um, he can get anything from a bottle of whiskey to um, a jet and uh, uh, starts to, um, he gives him one of these uh, gold bars as an incentive and he starts to make calls and meanwhile um, they're overheard by a character called Oddball played by Donald Sutherland who uh, is the um, leader of a group of three Sherman tanks. Now the Oddball character is really a 1968 San Francisco hippie and uh, it's an anachronism um, Ryan Hutton uh, seems to um, be very, very fond of anachronism because in Where Eagles Day he had a helicopter. But anyway, um, kind of glaring mistake though it is, uh, it is more or less a comedy action film and he gets away with it. So, um, Kelly uh, convinces the rest of the platoon um, to go along with him and mainly because they're hacked off because they've been taken off uh, out of the line but just put up in some remote farmhouse where there's no entertainment where they were looking forward to getting to Paris and uh, so they agreed to go along with him. The, their sergeant Big Joe um, played by Telly Savalas uh, thinks it's a terrible idea but he is won over and, and uh, agrees to lead them. And uh, <clears throat> uh, Telly Savannah plays a, 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 or gives a really good um, portrayal of a wartime NCO. Um, enough of a disciplinarian, but also with his men's welfare at heart. So um, they um, start heading towards Claremont. There's a lot of tank and infantry action, including some of the guys getting killed in a, a minefield. Um, but they eventually um, reach the outskirts of Claremont. Meanwhile, the, uh, their general, General Colt, um, has heard uh, <clears throat> by radio intercepts that some of his units uh, have made a breakthrough and he, he wants to know uh, what it's all about. And um, he's played by Carol O'Connor and uh, it, it, he, he's a very vain uh, general even wears stars on his dressing gown and uh, he, he 
gets a, a, a an armful of medals and goes off in his jeep to find out who's who these heroes are but then um the guys find out that the, which kelly has known all along that the bank is guarded by um three tigers and their infantry support and their tigers are from uh, an ss panzer division so uh oddball just you know he doesn't want anything to do with shermans versus tigers and we point out that in the Bocage country in uh, Normandy, it was a disaster going up against the Tigers. It was a really good um, main battle tank. But uh, Kelly um, shows them a way that they're able to use choke points in the village and hit the Tigers from the rear. And they do this, uh, kill the infantry, but there's still one Tiger left in a dominant position, so it seems that the game's over. But then, crap game being the, the wily character he is he says make a deal he says you know he's just a grunt he doesn't know what he's guarding so the scene switches and um the the three main characters uh, kelly crap and big joe uh walk up to the tiger tank and it, it's a scene reminiscent of one of clint eastwood's um dollar films spaghetti westerns the music uh, Lalo Schifrin's music twangy guitars and so on uh, and the uh, tank gun and the tank machine gun um, are tracking them as they walk up to him and the hatch opens and the tank commander played by Carlotto Alberti um, uh, jumps down and, and it turns out it's a live standard um, unit and um, he's your typical um, Waffen SS um, tank uh, black tank uniformed scar across the face short blonde hair uh, but when he uh, hears what uh, he's been guarding and he sees the potential um, his eyes light up and next thing the tiger blows a hole through the bank door and they get the loot and uh, crap game actually uh, trades the uh, one of his uh, chairmans for uh, uh, for a tiger or buys buys the tiger he doesn't trade it but buys the tiger uh, and it, it, it's um, it's not the uh, the best um, example uh, apparently it's got a, a fuel leak now the movie uh, was very very well done the action scenes uh, in particular bearing in mind it's a comedy uh, you know had it been um, a serious war film you 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 could have you could have um, looked at it from those views, and you would have been uh, quite quite pleasantly surprised. The the uniforms, the weapons, to my amateur eyes uh, at least, uh, seem very authentic. The three tigers, for a long time, I believed they were tiger tanks. They looked spot on. Apparently, they were T thirty fours. The film was shot in Yugoslavia, and they they had T thirty fours there, and they were just given um, uh, bodywork to resemble the tigers. But it, they were, you know, they, they were done really well with the Zimmerat and all, all the rest of it. Um, and uh, apparently, uh, I found out years later, based on a true story, that there was um, the Nazi gold reserves were actually stolen by a combination of Americans and Germans uh, at some stage, and, and uh, there was a book written about it. So um, stranger than fiction. So. Uh, it's it shown regularly on TV and I've watched it a few times and uh, I, I, I always enjoy it, Kelly's Heroes.